good mother morning y'all it is too damn early it's like five in the morning actually four in the morning i'm here at the philadelphia airport getting ready to fly over to portland about to go film a wedding and stuff you know so this is gonna be real fun it's gonna be a fun it's gonna be fun times a fun journey right I'm tired man i didn't even rest i didn't even sleep last night i was like anxious you know you have like uh uh, anxiousness from like flying and making sure that you have all your gears so the thing about American Airlines they have like this new bag policy where you're only allowed one personal item I have to pack gear so I had to check in the bag with some of my gear in there so please please pray for me I'm hoping I'm hoping my gear my camera gear makes it to Portland safe I have like thousand dollars worth of equipment in there it's gonna be scary but I gotta take my chances so we'll see. Yeah, I just made it into Portland. I am tired, man. We had a layover in Dallas. I had the middle seats on both flights. And I'm exhausted. I'm about to go meet up with the homies right now. They picking me up. We about to go uh, get some good ass food. From what I hear, we about to go to the Mekong Bistro, which is like the only, the only uh, Cambodian place here in Portland. Sounds exciting, right? Those two flights were exhausting, man. That, it was more exhausting than going to Cambodia, honestly. I'm starving. I bought like this breakfast quiche when we was in Dallas. Ate half of it and threw it away. It was kind of disgusting. I want some. I want some familiar. I want some uh, Cambodian food, right? About to go meet up with some peoples, you know, some superstars, some da da, some idols. So yeah, we just got picked up, and look who I bumped into. You know what I'm saying? Well, you again. He came all the way from New York to have lunch with me. <laughs> he came all the way from New York to have lunch with me. Yep, Portland, Oregon. That's where we at. You know, it's funny. He didn't even have to tell me what car they was in. I already knew what car was Cambodian <laughs> when I saw it and I heard it. You know what I mean? It was a blue Subaru making all this goddamn noise. I'm like, that's got to, that, that has to be them. Come on now. Fast and furious. You want to... <laughs> got Rich here. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be the Cambodian artist of the year right here. We got Lyle right over here driving. Um, we are, uh, like I said, we're currently. We're currently in Portland and uh, they ask, you know, the first thing you always do when you touch down, it's like, yo, what, what we eating? You know what I mean? I'm starving right now. Coming on fire. And uh, I can always eat Khmer food. You know what I'm saying? I'm at, I'm at the point in my life where I can always eat Khmer food. And you can compare how different locations of the world is, you know? Or, or, You'd be like, this ain't better than Philly. Talk so, your shit. I'm talking my shit right now. You know what I mean? I'm going to definitely talk my shit. And uh, I actually had I Heart Cambodia in Philly uh, two days ago. So now I'm about to eat my food all the way on the other side of the United States in Portland, Oregon called is it the, the Mekong Bistro? Mekong Bistro. Mekong Bistro. So I'm pretty hype about it, man. The history lesson you said is the only Khmer restaurant that's in Portland? Yep. Only Khmer restaurants in Portland, all right? The menu's pretty big. You get selections. You got variety. Where he's been there before. Yo, I ate this, this whack ass. Like, I went to Dallas and ordered like this breakfast quiche. Um, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to a quiche yet. So I need to eat something good. White people man. stuff. This guy got a quiche. No, I got a quiche. <laughs> that shit's not gangster. Street cr street cred just went down. Thirty two percent. Yeah, man, get a quiche. It's a fondue. <laughs> so, I mean, you party hard last night? Pretty hard. Hardcore. Yo, I ran into some male fans at the at a bar, a oh, random white bar. Did they say? Are you Alex Chilly? Did they say keep doing what you do? Yeah, they actually did. <laughs> keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. But they bought us like a. Round of shots for the whole squad, and then we had to leave. Oh, <laughs> I felt kind of bad. Like, thank you for the shot. Bye. Hey, Don't take a deal now. <laughs> shit. Yeah, my dude looking hella scold now. Look at him, man. man. He working out now, B. Yeah, he riding bikes and shit. Look at him. Hella, se line. hella sexy now. Look at <laughs> him. Back. I'm about five coming about soon. to whoop your ass and make you laugh at the same time. <laughs> yes, yo, we just pulled up to the Mekong Bistro, and it's in like this nice shopping plaza. So it's nothing like um, Philly, you know, Philly is like right in the uh, urban area. This is like more in a like, nice shopping area. 
And I like the uh, logo too, the Mekong Bistro, Cambodian Cuisine, and Lounge. It's pretty cool. You know, you gotta go to a Cambodian restaurant. They always gotta have plants outside. Can y'all see that? It's always plants. And by the way, I'm shooting this on my iPhone. I'm keeping it real portable today. Okay, I like the ambiance here as soon as you walk in. You see the uh, painting? It's um, Great Mission and it's their new band grand opening. It's, no, it's my night tonight. Should we pull up and crash it? I, uh, Maybe. It starts at like seven. My night. This is really dope. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, man. I just came here to enjoy some good Kwai food, but then they, they they offered a challenge. I can't say I can't turn the challenge down. That's a fact. Crazy Wings Challenge. Do it for your fans. Mm -hmm. 25. So how does the Crazy Wings Challenge work? Is it one person has to eat 25 wings that's super hot? I'm not sure, but I know that from other people's experience, like there's like a plate and they ate it all together. I remember two guys doing it together. Oh, so oh. it could be like a okay. I'm gonna, I don't mind that. I think we can do that. Or two. Sure, sure. Thank you. See, if we can attack it as a group, I got faith in my guy over here, yes, you know what yes. I mean? He's from the land of the dead ass. I'm, I'm just trying not to act black today. <laughs> we got a comment, he got a comment saying, yo, why are you talking black? I don't know what that means, but anyways. That's like the most ignorant comment you could possibly make. Possibly make. You don't know us, how we were raised, you know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. You know, just because we're from the refugee, it don't mean we're fops. I mean, I graduated from ESL at an early age yeah, because my English was too good. Okay. So this is pretty cool. So this is, um, yeah, one section, it's uh, like a bar slash restaurant. And then there's another section where they do like parties and stuff like that. And uh, actually you can rent the rooms, they rent the bigger rooms as well. It looks like the other side they have some sort of like jazz night or competition or something like that, which is, which is dope. And, and tonight's Kwai night. Yo, the selection here is crazy. I like it. They got everything. They got everything from uh, Mokwahong, um, stir fry, salama chu, mok, everything. You know what Should I'm saying? Should we get crazy wings and just to eat it? Just look at it. Yeah, yeah, let's try it out. But this is kind of like the Jupiter. That sounds good too. They got ban chow, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean ban chow? They got ban chow. <laughs> <laughs> they got chakra. And so the, uh, the selections here is uh, A1. So as soon as it comes out, you can kind of like smell that aroma of the chicken wings. And this bakong is nice presentation as well. Honestly, chicken wings don't look that hot, but looks can be deceiving. So I'm about to go ahead and try these, uh, Try the food first, you know, I got Bokla Hong right here. And I got the, uh, it's called Crazy, Crazy Wings. Let's try the Bokla Hong first. I got the crab, what do you call it, like salted crabs? Mm -hmm. um, let's try the Bokla Hong first. Kampoon or something like that. It's like a loud version of uh, no Bachok. We also got quail. But let's get back to the Bakla Hong though. That Bakla Hong is fire. The right amount of spice. Is it 
tastes like FDR Park. Welcome back. So these wings are the uh, crazy wings. These are the crazy wings? The, the spicy, 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 spicy one? This is a walk in the park. I might have to do this. I might have to do this spicy wing challenge, or maybe he's setting us up. He'll win. He might be setting us up, man. He'll be a legend and win. Might be a great bird. You had it yet? I don't taste no spice yet. Yeah, the bubble hung is spicier than the wings. This, these can't be their spices, they can't be. most underrated part of the wing. Yeah. Damn, that was fire too. Where's the blood at? Where's the blood? We're just feasting today. Where's the blood? Where's the blood? Eating like kings. What'd you get? What is that? There's like so much going on right now. I don't know where to start. I just had some of that buckle hung and the wings and banging. The wings aren't really that spicy as I thought it would be, but maybe he might just want it to make, make it tolerable. It is tasty though. It actually kind of tastes like simply, simply my wings. It's good. Got nice onions in there. Nice crunch. Turn it up. Not really a quail fan, but all right, let's try it. Special sauce. This quail is so fresh, it still has like the feathers on it. See it? Yeah. I, I don't know how anyone actually prepares a quail because they're like little baby birds, you know? I would, I would feel so bad. So we're going to try the quail. Bad boy out right here. This looks good. I need to. I need some to scoop this up though. This is too so about to try the uh, the the loud loud version of Number Chuck. Looks bomb. Let's try it out. Mm. 
that packs a flavor right there. Put the quail egg right here. Not your, it's not your spicy. No, it's not. It's okay. not our um, challenge spicy. <laughs> uh, can we get one? Some of those? Not Do you really want it? Yeah, yeah, like ten. You think like, that's the order? That's eight. Okay, let's do like eight of those of the spiciest. <laughs> so this is bomb, though. <clears throat> this right here. It's really good. It's good. You should tag Cassie like yo, loud in the house. You got the lime leaves in there, lemongrass. You got like the soy soybean. Yeah, I want to try it. <laughs> About to try some salama chu kudung, right? Mm -hmm. This looks fire too. Let's try it out. Gotta get it with some bai too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had this since like 2010. Yeah, he likes to break his rules for us. That's what's up. Yo, this is so freaking good. Oh my god, look at that big, big chunky bite. Can y'all see that? Man, everything here is good. Yo, straight up. Mekong Bistro, you got something special here. Mmm. So good. That sourness just hits you right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sound like a real foodie. Mm -hmm. The texture's real nice. You can taste, you can like feel the really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cooked with love, man. <coughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of depth. You know I mean? Got a lot of depth in here and the flavor. Okay. This John's cooked with love. Ooh, and it's like a has a smoky, uh, you know, aftertaste. Is, you know. So good. <laughs> I've been watching too much Mark Leans, here. Mm -hmm. Who's that one guy that makes the, who's that really skinny guy kind of like going over and over? Yeah, yeah, that's Mark Leans. He has eyes are just so big. <laughs> <laughs> he melts. So good. He's <laughs> living the life. Damn. You don't represent us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My eye. <laughs> there you go. It's my IK. That represents us. That muggy ain't it? Ain't been problem too. I met met my muggy ain't. I turn comedy. Yeah. For a smoke group. Did you say something back there? No. I blocked her. <laughs> Boom! I disappeared from your life. How, how about that? How about that? Now you can't even see my comedy. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't the beauty deserve, of the internet right there. You don't deserve my presence then. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, no, it's like you blocked me. <laughs> oh, so you blocked me. Why does it concern her so much? Like, I should have never said that to Hella Chloe. He's so sensitive, he blocked me. Quit, I quit. <laughs> Ooh. Now that looks crazy. That looks crazy. <laughs> That's like night and day. <clears throat> this looks crazy. Mm -hmm. Looks like they really wanted to teach us a lesson. <laughs> I think they wanted to teach us a lesson. So yeah. after we ate their regular like spicy wings, we we're like, no, this ain't hot. That's what, that's what this ain't we're hot, you know. We want another. Shit. We want to try. We want to. We, we was talking that mm -hmm. shit. We was like, we want to try the hottest wings you guys got. She brought this shit out. <laughs> I'm scared. This looks like it's just been drenched in hot oil, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, she was like, you want to talk about my wings, huh? We're gonna make this shit hot for you. All right. 
kidding me? This is the crazy one right here. It has ghost chilies in it. I don't think I am going to try. I am a, you know, I am a, you know, clad. Why are you clad, man? I'm clad in min sodium chirante. I'm going to get that. You know, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm going to get it. Fuck. I'm going to vlog in the water. Say, make up. Mm, not too bad. It's gonna build probably. Mm, I mean, it's That's a build. What it is. You know what their contest is? You have to eat 25 wings in, in 15 minutes. I'm gonna try it. So, what happens is that oil, because it's mainly oil in there, it builds. It doesn't hit you hard, but it builds. If you eat like, like Buffalo Wild Wings, you guys ever had like their craziest sauce? I'm not built. If you eat one wing, it's not hot, but it's like when you keep eating wing after wing, yeah. Yeah. that yeah. sauce just keeps building up. Right now. I think I can do it. I can eat 25 in 15 minutes. This is the kneecap. <laughs> it's gonna hit you. It's gonna hit you. It's spicy. Is it? Me. it? Tastes like your sauce. 350, what's it called? Mad Dog 2020. What's it called? Extract, huh? Actually, it's tolerable. Well, I just had a little nut. Fire on the mountain, boy. Fire on the mountain. <clears throat> this is how they get you. You have to eat 25 in 15 minutes. So they, they drench it. They make it impossible. Yeah. So, like, your last few wings is going to be so drenched in that sauce that you don't want to eat it. They should just make it no time limit. They just scared me with the oils already. It's good though. It's actually pretty good. It's good. If I eat that on an empty stomach with rice all over again, I'll be good. But right now I'm just full. I don't have I feel room. Like that's gonna mess my stomach. I don't have room. Yeah, yeah. See that? <clears throat> See how drenched that is? Do I really look skinny though? Yeah. You do look skinny. You guys can't call me fat no more, dang. Y'all the reason why I act like we just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That ain't hot, B. I've had hotter. Yo, we're leaving now. We just tore up like freaking like seven dishes. I'm full. It was such an honor to eat this food. The food was great. And uh, make sure you guys come visit the, the bistro Mekong or Mekong Bistro. Yeah, food was delicious. I'm ready for bed. See this guy right here? He's that low. <laughs> Damn. Who's this guy right here? Mm -hmm. Yo, straight up, that food is exactly what I needed. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, making me feel at home. Always got ended off with a toothpick. But yeah, I'm gonna be here in Portland for the weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, make sure you eat some good food this weekend, you heard? Woo, that was good.